Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Patch 7.1.5. In this video, we'll bring you up to speed on all of the changes and new features coming in Patch 7.1.5. The first thing you might notice about 7.1.5 is that we've made a lot of changes to classes. The goal is to improve overall class balance, while also making each spec more fun to play and allowing for more diverse talent choices. We've also rebalanced how secondary stats such as crit and mastery on items contribute to your character in order to make them more competitive with each other and open up more options for item upgrades. Check out our patch notes for more details. 715 also expands the time walking feature. Mists of Pandaria dungeons will now be included in the time walking event rotation. Anyone level 91 or higher can participate in Mists of Pandaria time walking and there are several new Pandaria-themed rewards available from Mistweaver Shah on the Timeless Isle. The Brawler's Guild has reopened its doors. As veteran players know, the Brawler's Guild is a series of single-player challenges, and in Patch 715, it's better than ever. Not only are there dozens of new bosses to fight, but there's also new rewards to earn, and a few extra surprises thrown into the mix. Of course, if you want to participate, you'll need an invitation which can be found in Emissary Bags, by completing dungeons, or by fighting the Elite Frykul on the Shields Rest Island of Stormheim. We're also introducing a new type of event called Micro Holidays. These are short-term, just-for-fun celebrations, which will typically only be active for one to three days. Once Patch 715 is live, you'll be able to find these Micro Holidays on your in-game calendar. Shortly after Patch 715 releases, we'll also be opening the Nighthold Raid. Tensions in Suramar City have reached their peak, and it's time to finally take the fight to Grand Magistrix Elisand and her demonic allies. You'll fight your way through a total of 10 bosses, including some familiar faces like Croesus and Tychondrius, and culminating in an epic final encounter with Gul'dan himself. These are just a few of the things to look forward to in Patch 715, but there's a lot more, including new legendary items, an updated Blade's Edge arena, and new ways to catch up your artifact knowledge on new or alternate characters. You can read more on our website at worldofwarcraft.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the Broken Isles.